Hello Year 7s, welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing with, ex uh, with our patterns, except this time, instead of looking at patterns as numbers, we'll be looking for patterns in shapes and looking for number patterns in those shapes. So today we're going through exercise 3i, which is on spatial patterns and is on page 154 of your textbook. Alright, so what does spatial mean? Spatial means like an area or like a shape kind of an idea. So a spatial pattern is a sequence of geometrical shapes that can be described by a number pattern. So let's say, for example, let's look at this first picture over here. I've got my first pattern. It's a, it's a, well, it's a diamond, right? It's a diamond. And it uses four matchsticks in order to make that one square. Or that diamond, sorry. If I make two diamonds... So that's my second shape over there, and I need normal over here. Then it actually takes eight matchsticks, and you keep going, and you can see that the pattern is four, eight, twelve. So what's happening? Well, every time we want to make one more diamond, we actually need to plus four to our number pattern. So can you imagine what the next shape would be if I had, that's a terrible diamond, if I had one, two, three, four, diamonds well that would take well that would need 16 matchsticks we're adding four each time right if this is my first term here so let's say that's my first term oops if this is my first term over here we can also say that well the first term is just four times a term right so four times one and then it's four times two which is eight four times three oops Actually, let's go ahead and draw that on the actual shape. So, this first one is 4 times 1. This second one is 4 times 2. 4 times 3. 4 times 4. You get the idea. So, if I was to go ahead and try and make, well, this one has 1 square, so I times it by 1. This one has 2 diamonds, sorry. 2 diamonds, and so I times it by 2. Times, yeah, 4 times 2. This one has 3 diamonds, so I times 4 by 3. If I wanted to make 17 diamonds... If I wanted to make 17 diamonds, oops, then I would need to say, well, I need four matchstick per diamond. So I said four times by 17, which gets me an answer of 68. I need 68 matchsticks. So that's how we can actually spot our pattern inside of our spatial sequence. Oops, matchsticks. There we go. All right. So let's keep going. Special patterns often start with a simple geometric design with future terms created by adding on repeated shapes of the same design. So let's take a look at this one. So my first, my first part of my first term of my sequence is there. So let's do that. My second term is over here. My third term is here and you get the idea. So the very first term looks like this looks just like that. Now every time I add on, I don't actually add on a square like we did before, a whole shape. So let's say I want to add that on. I actually add on this part here, just that. I don't connect here, right? So it's just that part here. And if I draw this again, so let's draw that again to so the same, same purple, original purple square. I draw this um, one, this one-sided square. And then the next step would be to draw this side of here. So each time I'm drawing on, it starts with this original shape, but then every time I add on, it looks like this, right? So it starts off with this geometric shape, but every time we add on, it looks like that. We add that on. So that's the idea. That's what we're looking at when it comes into um, comes in terms with uh, spatial patterns. Okay. And. Spatial patterns can generally be converted to a number pattern. So a number pattern is what we are looking at in the last video, looking at how we can say, well, 4, 6, 8 is just plus 2 every time. That's what a number pattern is. So referring back to that, these geometric designs can often be converted to a number pattern with a common difference. So a common difference, just a reminder. So let's just write over here. This is the number pattern. Number pattern. So just a reminder for common difference, it's when we're increasing or decreasing, so it doesn't matter which one, as long as it's consistent, by the same amount. So just like this example over here that I was describing, it's plus two every time. You know that if I was to keep going, 
I would go 10 because 8 plus 2 is 10 and then plus 2 which gives me 12 plus 2 which gives me 14 so that's the ideal let's go ahead and try and look at one of these to see if uh, we, with, what if this makes sense so draw the next two shapes in the spatial pattern shown so I've got let's zoom in a bit so we can see all right my first shape is this one over here it's like one two three four five it's a um it's a h shape so we can try and continue this right so the second one so let's continue we've got the same original shape and we add on this shape over here okay now if i keep going i do the same thing on this side one two three four five and then this one is from the second term so like that and then i also add on this side over here if i was to keep on going what would be the next term well the next term so let's just label a over here this is my first term let's write first here second third now i need to draw my fourth term so let's draw my third term first so my third term is this one over here Oops. one two three four five and then one two three one two three so that's my fourth term i should probably connect the dots a bit more there we go just so it's a bit clearer those are matchsticks awesome all right so that's my third term let's draw my fourth term so what did i add on every time i added this shape right here so this is now this is now my fourth term great now let's draw my fifth term because i need to draw the next two right so my fifth term let's draw a line there our fifth term let's draw the fourth term So that's my first term completed there. It's my second term. My third term. My fourth term. Oops. Let's use a different color pen. Now this is my fifth term. I've just used the red to show you what uh, what I've done new to make this term. All right. So that's how I do my fifth term. All right. Great. Write the spatial pattern above as a number pattern relating to the number of sticks required to make each shape. So my first one, let's write B here. My first term, so this one up here, how many match sticks did I need? Well, I needed one, two, three, four, five. I needed five, so my first number is five. My second number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So write eight, and then I write 11. I'm just counting them quickly. And then 14, and then also I get 17 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's correct. So 17. That's just from counting the number of sticks in each, in each term. All right. So let's describe the pattern by stating how many sticks. This is part C, by the way. By stating how many sticks are required to make the first term and how many sticks are required to make the next term in the pattern. So how many sticks were required in the first term? The first term being five, right? So it was first term needs five matchsticks. Great. Now, to make each next term, I need, so next term needs three more matchsticks. Because I'm adding on three matchsticks every time I make a new term. And that's how we solve it. Let's do one more example, just so we're clear. I know I'm going through it quite quickly, so feel free to pause it whenever you'd like. All right, so draw the next two shapes in the spatial pattern. So I need to draw the shape, same thing as before. So I say A, let's draw the shape. So the first one is a triangle. Second one's two triangles, third one's three triangles. You guys get the pattern, right? So the next one will be our fourth term, which our fourth term will be one, that's not the triangle I'm looking for. Also not the triangle I'm looking for. There we go. One, 
two, three, three, and four. Not perfect, but that'll do. My fifth turn will be one, two, three, four, oops, four and five. Great. So that's how we do our spatial pattern. Let's complete the table. So the number of triangles is on the top line here. So over here, and then on the bottom is the number of sticks required. So how many sticks do we need to make the first triangle? Well, one. How many sticks do I need to make the second, uh, two triangles? Well, I need six, right? The twice as much. How much do I need for three triangles? Nine, you get the point. So every time I'm just times in the number of triangles by three because I need three sticks per triangle. So it's 12 and 15. So describe a rule connecting the number of sticks required to the number of triangles. So we've done B, let's do C over here. The number of sticks, number of sticks equals the number of triangles times by three. Now you can write that instead as in three times the number of triangles, number of triangles is perfectly fine. But you can see how we've done that. We know that for every triangle, we need three matchsticks. So that's how we say, well, that's the rule. For every number, every triangle we want, we times it by three to get the number of matchsticks. Let's go ahead and use the rule uh, to predict how many sticks would be required to make 20 triangles. For 20 triangles, so the number of, the number of sticks, number of sticks equals to three times how many triangles do we want? We need 20, so 20 triangles, three times 20, which gives me 60. So the number of match sticks equals to 60 for 20 triangles. All right, hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Let's zoom out to see how much we've done. All right, great, best of luck.